We're at a Cocker Bottoms Waterfowl Refuge and Wildlife Management Area, and we're talking about a lot about quail today. And if I had uh, one piece of equipment to produce quail habitat with, number one would be a big bulldozer. That is what we did this. This was all forested, completely forested. You can see over here, it's a good example, mostly cedar trees, a lot of Virginia pine. Actually, very little, almost zero use for wildlife. We've turned that into this. And on my quail area, I couldn't look at it any better. You see the ragweed, partridge pea, the bidens, the thoroughworts, all these plants in here. It's really open structure all down in here. It is quail perfect. It is beautiful. And we created this, but not planting. There's not one thing in here that's been planted. This has all been stimulated from the soil bank. It was all forested just a couple of years ago. So we went from that to this by taking the, the trees off of it with a bulldozer. And it's, it's absolutely quail perfect. So I'm really, really happy with this. And we'll let this go a little bit before we burn it. It'll be, we could take just a little bit more woody structure, but it's just a couple of years old. So we'll start having that 30% woody start replacing some of these other plants that are in here right now. Okay, just briefly a touch on uh, another technique that we use a lot, and that's disking. And uh, you hear a lot about food plots and things for quail, and, and not that I'm against food plots, but if that's your only management strategy, you're probably missing the boat. So that, that's what the tendency is to thinking that, that quail really need uh, additional food where they they usually they get their food through what we most of us call weeds i don't call them weeds because they're important wildlife foods but this is a uh, a technique that we use to sort of change up the structure and and different plant communities and open it up a little bit more for quail so we at, at periodic times uh we'll, we'll diss these strips and this one has been planted in wheat and a wheat is real easy uh, uh, plant to plant, it grows real easily, doesn't require a lot of nutrients, and provides some food for deer and rabbits, and, and uh, then we let that, that annual wheat seed out and die down, and then you see this native plant community growing through it. And this is, uh, this is what I would call a food plot, and that is uh, more native plants than it is plants that I actually planted. We do plant some, and and those can be important at times, especially in the winter stress period. But it's the stuff usually that food plot that you planted two and three, depending on what the conditions are, two and three years later is probably more effective with these native plants for quail than it was the stuff that you actually planted, like uh, milo and and millets and that type of thing. They are useful, and they are good, but uh, if you can let those go fallow, they serve. A great more importance over the long run by just letting the native plants grow up through it.